Team of the season is here, and if you're looking for a cheap and reliable way to buy your FC24 Ultimate Team coins, then please look no further than fifacoin.com. As usual, loads of great discounts, and don't forget to use my code Martin. link will be in the description. Hi guys, Martin88 here, and welcome back to another EAFC24 video. And today we're having a look at the 442 custom tactics that I've used quite a lot, to be honest, over the course of this year. Yeah, I do use quite a few different um, tactics uh, and the 442, I've played probably a good couple hundred games this year with it. So of course, with it being team of the season, I wanna give you guys as many options as possible. Remember, when I'm uploading these, this isn't to say these are the best tactics in the world. It's to say, hey, have you considered a different option? Yeah, because all of you guys are very, very different players. Some need you know, attacking formations, some defensive, some wide, some narrow. So it's just to give you different options. And I just want you guys to understand that. So with the 442, <laughs> it's gonna sound very boring, but it's extremely balanced formation. It is, along with the 4231, the most balanced formation out there. So we don't need to mess around with it. You know, it does what it says on the tin. It's one of them, you know. Um and of course, defensive style won't surprise you that we've got it unbalanced. Yeah, I say this all the time. Try and put some pressure on yourself, okay? I try and continuously teach this in my coaching sessions. I have done a tutorial on it about using that right stick switch and using that second man press. Just using your own anticipation. Even if it means that, you know, you've started to read your opponent after the first 20 or 30 minutes, that kind of thing. Defensive width, 40, let's stay nice and narrow. Uh, defensive depth, 50, shock horror, you know. It's pretty standard stuff. Build up play balanced and chance creation balanced. You know, this, I, I would always suggest that if you're struggling or you're just struggling to find an identity or you just feel lost, this is the, this is probably the formation to go to. This or the four, two, three, one, and then build again from there. Yeah. You, you, you know, a lot of people that I coach, they're trying all sorts of different tactics that people have come up with. And they don't even know what those tactics do. And it's just a mess, to be honest. And like I said, it's all very well copying tactics of people. But you have to understand how to play with it. What's the game plan with it? And that's a lot what I go through in my coaching sessions, to be honest. Uh, the face of whip 50. Players into the box. I've got on six. Corners two. And three kicks two. Right. Into the uh, player instructions. But guys, before I do that, I did just want to advertise my coaching services to you, if that's okay. If you are looking to improve at the game, whether you're a newbie or whether you've been at it for years and years and you're know, trying to make that next step to rank one, rank two, or a division two, division one, elite division, whatever, uh, then please feel free to get in touch with me. Email address is on screen, martinfootball88 at gmail.com. I do coach people from all different levels and have done for three years now. Um, right, so... The whole of the back four is on stay back while attacking. That shouldn't surprise you, to be fair. Of course, we can get those full backs involved if we want to, if you're decent with your triggered runs, but they're defenders and they are there to defend, okay? Into the two centre mids, we just want the best of both worlds. And apart from me changing this to cover centre, opposed to cover wing, why would we want them to cover wing? Yeah, we've got full backs and we've got wingers. I know, let's put them on cover wing and leave a massive great big hole. No, that's not what we're going to do. Leave them on cover centre or put them on cover centre. The rest of it is just default, yeah? We, a, cent, a central midfielder, balanced attack. We want them up, down, up, down. Sometimes go in the box, sometimes hold back. You know, so yeah, just leave them exactly how they are. Out onto the wings, I have changed this ever so slightly. So I've got Ludwig Gouli and Sterling, I've had for a while now. Uh, both on come back on defence, because I do want them to help out. We don't want to be easy to, to beat and easy to score against. And then going the other way, I've got them on get into the box for crosses. I'm not going to lie, um, you could have them on getting behind. Triggering runs is one of my biggest strengths, so I just trigger it every single time that I want them to, to run. If that's a bit above you or you're not great at that, then have them on getting behind. But anything that you can do manually will help you, really. This is a prime example. Because as much as I like to get them in behind, it's on my terms. So when I don't want them to, they won't just start running anyway. And they're actually there for me to pass to. Yeah, so you make your own mind up in terms of what you want the wingers to do. Then up front, the uh, faster one of the two is on getting behind. 
And then the other one will be on come back on defense and just come a little bit shorter. So guys, there we have it. There's my 442 custom tactics and player instructions. If you've enjoyed the video, or that's helped you out in any way, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys very, very soon. See you there, guys. Bye-bye.